In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to live stream to YouTube Shorts using OBS in vertical mode. Let's start with vertical live. What is it? So vertical live is in many ways exactly what it sounds like. It's the ability to go live vertically on your phone and have it show up uh, now starting soon in the short speed. Now, recently YouTube has introduced that feature where you could actually people could be scrolling through shows and at some point they're going to see your live stream actually pop up. Like if you've seen TikTok, how they do it, you see somebody, I mean, you could be watching like you'll be watching some TikToks and at some point you see someone who's actually live and you can choose to go watch the live stream so this is gonna be probably exactly the same thing however this is gonna be in youtube shorts so let's not take much time i'm gonna show how to do it using obs right now what's going on guys my name is sam you're watching live production tips and tools helping you master live streaming so as you can see we have right now if you don't have obs i'm gonna show you how to download it you need to go to obsproject.com and either using windows or mac or linux it doesn't matter just click to any operating system that applies to you and just follow instructions it's actually super super easy to install once you have it installed just follow instructions a fresh copy of obs is gonna look like this okay so the first thing that we're going to do as you can see we have what's called this canvas is actually horizontal so we need to change this into vertical and once we have it changed then we actually gonna add some audio and some camera or image and we're gonna be able to go live to youtube shorts so let's go ahead go under scene um again starting you may have a scene that comes with obvious the very first one you can actually click to that scene and rename or you can just simply click on it and just delete it mine i've actually deleted it but either way you can just hit the plus sign under scene we're gonna call it um camera we're gonna name it camera okay this is our first scene again you can create as many scenes as you want but for the purpose of this video we're gonna keep it simple we're just gonna use one scene and then the next thing before we add our sources which is gonna be our, our camera and microphone we're gonna go here where it says settings and we're gonna change our camera into vertical mode okay so what we need to do the first thing we need to do is we're gonna go where it says stream and then make sure the service is actually youtube rtmps make sure it's selected and make sure the server is actually under primary youtube in your server the rest we're gonna be connecting our youtube account in a moment but for now let's first figure out the canvas issue so we're gonna go to video and then we're gonna go to base canvas resolution so we need to change this to uh, instead of being 19 20 by 1080 we're gonna have it to basically we're gonna do the opposite so it's gonna be 1080 by 1920 so you're just gonna go type it 1080 by 1920 and then the output resolution is what people are going to see on the stream so it's gonna be the same thing it's gonna be 1080 by 1920 just like that for the common fps we can leave it at 30 frames per second now if you're gonna be gaming you probably want to change to 60 frames per second if you want to be sharing some game and stuff like that okay but for us you're just gonna keep it the way it is and then for now we can actually go ahead and hit apply everything else we're gonna do it at the end so as you can see now we have a very cool canvas all right and that's what we need because that's what people watch on mobile so you want to make sure they're doing a very cool thing so now under sources we are going to hit the plus sign and then we are going to add a video capture device okay now for me i have a, a my dslr connected i also have my webcam so we're gonna see we, you can add any camera that you want as long as you just make sure it fits within the canvas so we're gonna go ahead and create a new and we're gonna call it main camera okay and then we're gonna hit okay and then for device we're gonna go ahead and let's see if my obs obs tiny 2 webcam is actually available right now boom it's actually available and then for video resolution type we can actually do custom and the resolution we can actually make it 1920 by 1080p and then fps we can make sure it's actually at 30 frames per second to match what we have already everything else should actually can stay the way it is and then hit okay so as you can see we need to make sure we resize it so it matches our canvas okay so what we need to do you can just make sure uh it actually fits within a canvas and crop it until it looks really good so this is probably something like this will actually work okay and but again you can add some other stuff if you wanted you can make it look like this and then here 
you can add some other info if you want you can add like you know graphics or whatever you want okay but again for me again for the sake of this video just gonna keep it simple just keep the camera again i will let you go ahead and play with this add some other stuff that you want okay for the main things that we need for this video just our image here and then if you want to make sure nobody moves it or you don't move it by accident you can actually go ahead and hit the lock thing and it's gonna be locked so nobody is not gonna move all right which is awesome okay and then if you want to make some modifications you can always unlock it and you can move it as you can see all right so let's go ahead and actually lock it now the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a microphone feed okay so for this i'm gonna go ahead under the same scene and check add a audio input capture and then for this i'm gonna call it mic okay and then i'm gonna hit okay and then i'm gonna go under device and i'm gonna find my microphone uh, which is the Rodecaster Duo, microphone Rodecaster Duo. And then I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, the microphone feed is right there. As you can see my mic when I talk, you can see the feed is coming through no problem. OK, so right now I'm all set uh, for the audio and the camera and everything. Again, you can go ahead and add some other scenes and you can switch between scenes depending on what you want to show. I'm not going to go into that. OK, so the next thing we need to do, we need to go to settings and actually connect our YouTube channel to OBS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under stream here and then next we need to actually go here where it says connect your account. OK, so we need to connect to YouTube directly from OBS. OBS and to do that you simply connect this you click this button that says connect account and then as you can see you have a tab that's going to open here okay and what are you gonna do is it's going to ask you to connect to the email account to the gmail account connected to your youtube channel just follow instruction is actually super super easy so i'm gonna go ahead and actually choose the account that is actually re connect it to my YouTube account. And then at the last step, you should get something that looks like this. Okay. So basically it's asking to allow OBS to connect to YouTube channel. Okay. So what you need to do is I'm just going to do it to a different monitor. You're just going to click allow just, and then when you're done, it's going to say authorization completed successfully. You can now close this page. Okay. So now I can go ahead and actually close my page and boom and then we are good to go okay so now as you can see in back in obs i have my account connected to obs as you can see that production testing this is my testing account and then i can what i need to do you need to always do apply and hit okay so as soon as you do apply as you can see you have a new doc that's going to apply uh, to show up okay for the chat okay you can actually put it anywhere you want we can dock it uh, maybe have it here and i can go to docs and then unlock docs this helps me to actually move it anywhere i want so i can dock it somewhere here no problem okay so this is for the chat people are gonna be sending in messages okay you also have the youtube live control panel this is where you also need to sign in okay again we're not gonna be doing it today because we don't really need to see the health of our you know streaming everything but if you want you can go ahead and actually sign in and it's gonna be showing you all your stream data and everything okay so for now i actually don't need it i'm just gonna go remove it from here okay once we have this ready uh the next step we're gonna go ahead and actually go back to settings and then we go to output okay we're gonna go to stream and make sure our uh, encoding settings are actually great so we want to make sure you go to video encoder and make sure if you have a dedicated graphics card, you can actually go ahead and use it. Mine is NVIDIA NVEG H264. And you also want to make sure rescale output, just leave it the way it is. Don't touch it. And then for the encoder setting, go to rate control, make sure it's set to CBR. And then bit rate, make sure it's actually set to 10,000. This is the maximum that you can use with youtube okay but again make sure you test internet speed before you set this bit rate i'm gonna show you how to do that so basically you can go to google and type in internet speed test and then test your internet speed test and then if you have a upload speed that is at 20 megabits per second and up you can go ahead and use up to 10 megabits per second for your bit rate back in obs now if you have less than 20 then you can use something like eight, seven, okay? 
So once you're done, everything looks good here for our settings. The only thing we gotta do right now is actually we need to hit start streaming. So we're gonna go ahead. But before we do that, we need to create our, our stream. Because if I do start streaming, as you can see, there's no stream ready for us so you could either hit start streaming or you can go to manage broadcast okay this is a lot is going to allow us to create a new stream okay so with this what we're gonna do we're gonna create if you had a stream that was scheduled back in youtube you could go to select an existing broadcast and then you could actually use the stream that was scheduled but we don't now so we're gonna create a brand new create from scratch so the title we're gonna create a title we can use it text and then description you want to make sure you put an actual description and an actual title but for us it's just gonna be testing and then for privacy you can actually go ahead and use public if you want to be public but for me i can actually make it unlisted because i don't want to go publicly live okay i'm just testing it will just look weird for you again to be public and then for category i'm gonna make sure i actually change to if you are gaming should be gaming but for me it should be something like people and blogs again depends on your category okay and then is this video made for kids if you're streaming for kids your contents for kids then you're gonna go ahead and click click yes but if your content is just like what i'm doing right now it's probably not for kids this is just for anyone can watch okay so i'm gonna go ahead and say no it's not made for kids because if it's made for kids youtube is gonna show to kids only okay it's not gonna show to adults nobody wants to be watching some no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, you. you know like you know mcdonald's uh thing no <laughs> not gonna work okay so you want to make sure you don't check the kids thing if your content is not made for kids all right and then thumbnail we're gonna go ahead and select a thumbnail probably have a thumbnail here go to download and this is just a sample thumbnail here that we can use and then make sure you upload the thumbnail everything leave it the way it is and then just hit create broadcast and start live streaming now if you want to go start live streaming right away you can either just hit create broadcast and then wait but for us we are ready to go live so we can just hit create broadcast and start live streaming and then boom now obs is connecting to youtube it should take a moment and we should be live right now so if i go to youtube now i should be able to see my feed live no problem and i can show you this is the back end of my testing channel and as you can see we are live this is the live stream here okay it's called test okay and then i can actually go ahead and click the shareable link and then what i can do is i can paste into my browser and then boom and as, as you can see, see we are live, live no problem okay it's called test okay and then i can actually go ahead and click the shareable link and then what i can do is i can paste into my browser and then boom and as you can see we are live no problem the feed is good so guys the feed looks good i can even send some messages from obs hello all right and if i go back to the stream here you can see that i'm getting the messages on the stream no problem and the stream is still playing no problem okay so guys this is how you do as long as you create a vertical stream whether it's through uh the youtube app on mobile or on an encoder uh, you will be eligible to show up in the from here youtube is gonna do the discovery thing and the distribution thing because at the end of the day youtube takes care of that okay you don't have to do anything to appear in shorts okay and you just gotta be live in vertical mode however i think it will be a mistake because most people most of you guys have channels where you have shorts and long form so assuming that's why you have like personally that's what i have so i wouldn't want to go live just in the short feed i would love to go live in shorts okay vertical mode and actually go live in horizontal mode for the long form people right so people a lot of people still appreciate the long form kind of horizontal kind of look so if you're that kind of person and want to go live in both vertical and horizontal in my next video i'm gonna show you step by step how to set it up and be able to go live on both youtube long form or horizontal and youtube shorts at the same time right here in obs and the video is gonna be linked right here so make sure you check it out and i'll see you there guys take care bye bye